I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what to do for these intros anymore. <laughs> Hey guys, Timmy Dude 91 here, and welcome back to another episode of the Redstone Professor. As you can see, we're just inside this little alcovish thing, and if we run into the back here, well, we have a kind of decently empty room. In fact, both the rooms are oddly decently empty, which just makes a little bit no sense. But hold on, we do got a button back here. What's going on? Whoa! The heck? Alrighty then, seems someone really, really wanted to make sure that their beds and their empty armor stand didn't want to be fine. Huh. What's this? And a storage system too? It's like, holy crap, that's a bunch of storage actually. <laughs> okay. What in the world is going on here? Alright, so, obviously that was just ever so slightly scripted, but we have a bit of redstone going on here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hit F5, and we'll just flick out here into the redstoning world, so I could show you guys just what I kind of have in mind. Mainly because, you know, well, we got some crazy stuff going on. So basically what you just saw was a very simple little circuit. And I'm just going to knock out this wall here, so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on. And I did not mean to knock over those torches, but hey, whatever, we're flying by the seat of our pants. But basically, this is the circuit that you're looking at. It's a combination between a block swapper and a piston line with a monostable circuit. So, basically, it... <sighs> you know. Sorry, my voice is not the best today. But you hit the button, and it has to be a button, but it flicks over onto the circuit. The circuit uh, changes over. So basically, it hits this, this turns into a one tick. One tick goes through out of the repeater, hits this, and ejects out the block or retracts the block, which will create the redstone signal for these guys. And the other thing that we have is the redstone line going down through here into this repeater for this input that leads into this bit of redstone dust, this bit of redstone dust, this bit of redstone dust up on the top, and then two repeaters on the side, each set to one tick with no changes whatsoever, or else it'll start glitching and having problems. And then on the other side, I'm I think I'll be able to view it from here. Yes, I can. Okay. So then on the on this block over here, you have, or at least on one of the blocks, you have a redstone torch, and you have a repeater set to one tick. Now then, what does this do? Well, basically, this is a block swapper. So I have right now, as we have it in the hidden position, we have it just set to an ordinary block. However, you will be using an ordinary block and a stair block uh, behind this little bit of redstone here that just hides it away so when the button gets hit it retracts the block retracts off the other block and then pushes this block forward which create in other words swapping the blocks and then this will push it back up locking the block we already have up in position in place and that's just in order to be aesthetic so, we we'll, can get a pretty good look at how this works just by pressing the button, and we'll just see that it flicks across like that, and it's really quick, too. Uh, unfortunately, the timing for it is a little bit tricky in order to get down, but once you figure it out and you can get the hang of it, then you can do pretty good. Anyways, as for down over here, we have just a button that's hooked up to a double piston extender underneath here. And those are lined up with non-movable objects, a.k.a. these furnaces. So, just have them like that. And it keeps them safe and not moving anything. Chests also count as immovable objects, so because of that, it doesn't do anything. Now then, these right here are ordinary chests. But these chests you see in the center are trap chests. And this is an excellent trick 
for doing storage systems. And then, of course, uh, hidden in the corners, we have shulker boxes. Now then, unfortunately, unlike chests, shulker boxes are not stackable, so you will have to keep a one block space in between each. And if you want to be able to make sure that you can access these tops, you're going to want to have half slabs instead of blocks so that you'll be able to use them. So then, if you've enjoyed, make sure to uh, hit that subscribe button and also hit the little bell so you can get notified whenever the heck I upload a brand new video. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it so that we can get into the recommendations of other people. I'm trying to get to 100 subs, and in other words, we're on the road to 100. And the sooner that happens, we'll be able to have the 100 subscriber special. Uh, other than that, you can check out the other episodes of Redstone Professor. And, of course... If you want to help me out, you can support me on my Patreon page, or you can go check out the Patreon page for my book that I am writing. And I'm guessing that's it. That's everything I have on the top of my head. So then, until next time.